Hi everybody, thanks for tuning into another video. Today is a special one for me, I suppose, and hopefully for people that are watching this video, especially the people that are getting early on viewing this one. Today I've hit 300 subscribers, so to celebrate, we're gonna be doing a little bit of a giveaway. Um, and why am I talking about that when I've got these two devices in front of me? Well, kind of related because uh, what I've got here is I've got the Razer Kishi Xbox Edition, which we're going to be comparing to the standard one. And um, I'll explain why in a minute. I've got another one, but this one includes a 14 days of uh, tri trial Game Pass Ultimate subscription. I already have an Ultimate subscription. I don't need it. And I thought it's a great opportunity to be able to give it away to one of the viewers of this channel. Um, so great way to celebrate hitting 300 subscribers, which is a little bit of a personal milestone for me. And why not share it with you guys? So um, I'm going to explain why I've got two boxes here. Ones, uh, that w one is one that you may have seen me unboxing uh, in previous videos, which was um, a couple of weeks ago, maybe when I received the device. And I hit an issue with it where, unfortunately, after a few days, it stopped working. Now, I'd just like to say I purchased it off eBay. The seller was extremely helpful. So if you're watching this seller, thank you very much. Um, very helpful in trying to get the issue resolved. Um, contacted the shop that um, the device was initially purchased from and gave me all the information I needed to try and pursue manufacturer warranty. But on that note, I would like to say no thank you to Razer. Razer support is absolutely useless. So Razer, if you're watching this, first product I ever bought from you. Unfortunately, I bought another one because I did want to play some games on my phone and it's a decent controller, but I have no faith in the product um, in terms of quality of the product because this one died after two days without doing anything. This is the last chance for buying a Razer product. If this one also dies, I won't be buying anymore. And I will definitely be posting feedback here if this one also dies. So just a um, word of advice and warning for you all. Be prepared to get absolutely no customer service from Razer if you do buy their products. Quite surprising for a company so large that has such a large um, gaming fan base, I suppose. Um, one of the sort of pinnacle in the gaming hardware industry and they can't offer a bit of support for one of their failed products. Zero support from a manu manufacturer warranty perspective. And so that's my run over. So I thought what I'll do is I'll buy another one. I'll specifically go for the one um, which is the Xbox edition this time because that's the one I wanted last time anyway. And it gave me the opportunity to get something that I can give back to you guys for free. Right, so what we'll do is um, we'll go ahead and unbox it. We'll do a bit of a comparison between the old and the new. Well, uh, pretty much the same product anyway. Um, this one is a little bit more expensive for no real good reason other than the fact that it's been Xbox branded. And so there's a new one. Um, there is what we're going to be giving away. So I'm going to be showing that very uh, shortly, but there's the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate 14 day trial membership. And um, I'm going to move that away for a second because I'll be careful in how I unbox it. So let's just go ahead and look at the controller. Let's bring the old one in. So this is the old one that unfortunately no longer works. When I say no longer works, um, it literally does no longer work. So one day it was working fine. The next day it failed. Might as well peel this off. I don't know why I've still got this on there. Ah, there's a Razer logo. Have a look at that. So, um, yes, what went wrong with this? It was working fine one day. The next day it was not working. When I plug the device in, the blue light is supposed to come on there. It no longer comes on and uh, it just doesn't do anything. It's completely dead. I'm not going to go ahead and try and prove that it's dead. It's dead. Um, I haven't got any other device at the moment on hand to test it, but that's not the point of the video. We might as well compare them. So from a are they similar perspective? They're exactly the same. And I'll just talk about the key difference is mostly superficial. So one thing you'll notice immediately is this one here has an Xbox guide button for the home button. This one's just got the old school Android style home button and it's got start and select buttons effectively what they are sort of back and select or next or okay and etc. Um, there. And what they've done on this one is they've replaced it with the sort of menu buttons and 
uh, the settings buttons here, whatever they are on the Xbox show pads. Um, from a D-pad, oh, also just a note here is what you'll see is AB buttons, the color scheme on these have been switched and also on the XY buttons. So the color schemes on the new pad effectively resemble the color scheme on the Xbox gamepad. So that's exactly the same as the Xbox controller. The old ones were the opposite way around, as you can see. So um, that's another difference. And I believe one of the other key differences on here is the old, the original Android version, I think as it's labeled. The light on here is blue and the light on this one is white. Now again, I haven't got a device here to connect it with me, unfortunately, but the, uh, the light on this one will light up white instead of blue. Other than that, exactly the same, no difference there inside out. Um, D-pad wise, is there any difference? Um, I did find this one a little bit squashy, but it's not too bad to use. Uh, this one feels, let's have a look, feels exactly the same. There's no difference in the D-pad, they're identical. Um, so to all extents purposes, these really are exactly the same controller, right? Um, again, charging port at the bottom, exactly the same position. It is 100% it is the same device. I could very easily pick up the wrong one if I wasn't paying attention and wonder why it's not working. Maybe we'll do another video in the future trying to fix this one, trying to understand what's happened, who knows what's gone wrong with it. Maybe it's a power issue or something. Um, let's go ahead and expand this one as well. It should pop open in exactly the same way. Yep, there we go, same thing. You've got the band, stretchy band, USB-C type C port on it. You've got the um, audio pass through there from the speakers, so that's passive audio is going to pass through one of your bottom speakers through that channel just direct audio towards the actual player or the listener uh, analog triggers exactly the same as the old ones so there you have it i think that does it for the comparison really there's no significant difference in these whatsoever other than it's very xbox orientated it will support um Android games as well as uh, Xbox Game Pass, I guess, or any other games you're playing, cloud streaming games. Maybe even Google Stadia will support it. I don't know. I haven't tried it. Um, I was mainly using this one to play uh, games from Xbox Game Pass because it's just it's a perfect fit for that sort of gaming, and it really does feel like having a nice little Xbox in your hands. So there we go. Comparisons are done. If you've got any questions about similarities or differences in the two if there's anything else you want me to specifically answer maybe you are looking to buy one and you're deciding whether it's worth paying the extra 20 quid or whatever it is for this one versus this one and you've got some questions feel free to ask them in the comment section below i will be happy to answer them for you but now is the moment where we give something back and it's not very big as i said but there will be there will be more giveaways coming Maybe what I will do is I'll make a point of doing a giveaway every single time we get to the next milestone, which is the next 100 subscribers. So I'm going to make that promise. When we get to 400 subscribers, I will think of giving some something to give away. Maybe I'll buy another subscription and give it away. Maybe we'll give away a 30-day game card. This here has come in the box. I don't need it. So when I turn this around, the first viewer that sees this card gets that code and puts it into their xbox account or their microsoft account associated with their uh, xbox console will get 14 days of free xbox game pass ultimate membership are you ready ladies and gentlemen we are going to reveal the code now there it is i'm going to read that out as well p7q3t kd3mj nine four six x four nine three c p w c w g v z there you go first freebie giveaway on this channel done thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed the video do not forget to hit the subscribe button do not forget to leave a thumbs up definitely hit that subscribe get the notifications going with a little bell icon because 
every 100 subscribers we're going to be doing some giveaways and maybe as the channel grows and the subscriber base grows and maybe there's some sort of a fan base watching these videos that i'm posting for your benefit hopefully you're going to see bigger and better giveaways that is my promise to you all thank you very much for watching take care and all the best